But if I was you, I wouldn't stay late. There's a storm brewing. How can you tell? I can smell it. Kurt Knock on Murder is a play that I was uh, involved with a few years ago. And when I learned that the Marlowe's we're going to be putting it on. Susie was directing it. I was delighted. So I went for the part of Harry and I was really pleased to get the part. The gulls are flying in London, the seas are all black. That's a sure sign there's going to be bad weather. Harry is a caretaker who is filling in for Wally because Wally, the caretaker, is off. Ill. So Harry's come in to do the opening up because there's this band of amateurs who are in this theatre which is at the end of a pier and he needs to open up for them and then he needs to make sure they're all right afterwards. Oh, I love a good murder, don't you? Oh, I don't get to the theatre very much, but when I do, I love a good murder. But then life starts to take over within the situation that they are in. And I can't tell you any more because then it might give things away. Did they think they might be in the emergency? I don't suppose they cared. Well, that's that then. We have to spend the night here. Well, where will we all sleep? We won't sleep. We'll rehearse. All night? Well, why not? My captives couldn't have organised it better if I tried. It's a spooky play, all right. There are all kinds of unexplained happenings, and one of those is particularly spooky. <coughs> What's that? What's happening? I saw something. What? I don't know. A figure? It's very comical. There are times in rehearsal when we've been falling about laughing at each other and at the situation. Yes, it's a very amusing play, as well as being spooky and quite disturbing at times. What is going on? Are you having, are you having a nightmare? There are similarities with uh, one of the Agatha Christie plays, which has been turned to, into a film many times, where People, for no apparent reason, are removed from the situation. I think we'd all better look for some covers. All curtains would do. Well, there's loads of stuff under the stage. I'll go and look. Oh, we'll all go and look. Well, I'm certainly not staying here on my own. It's really good. It's really good fun. We're enjoying doing it. The whole cast are having a very good time. Um, there's a lot of care and thought going into the whole production and um, I'm sure that anybody who comes will feel part of it. That's what it's all about, giving people nightmares. Yeah. It's a murder mystery set in a theatre at the end of a pier. Um, so it's very atmospheric, lots of thunder and lightning. I'm Sandra, she's the assistant stage manager. Um, so she's off at the side prompting and setting the stage and um, she brings along a, a friend, a new member, that she's uh, hoping to get in with the group and help backstage with her. She definitely gets a lot darker um, as, as the play progresses. I have never done anything like this before, so this is really new to me. The character isn't, isn't like anything I've done before. It starts off being very similar the very sort of girly, bubbly, sweet characters, and then I get to be really good at the end. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> Don't be stupid. There are a few decent screams that um, come in various places from, from various people, which is um, it's good fun. <laughs> Every now and again, you're thinking, what if we can't get out? What if this actually starts to, you know, Life imitates art kind of thing, so we're always sort of glancing behind us thinking, Ooh. <laughs> Oh, Martin, I don't think you might be dead. I originally 
said that I w because I'd, I've just done with sisters. I was like, I'm not doing the next one uh, because I'm doing something else at the same time. I'm not doing this one. And then I came down to the read through and fell in love with it. And I was like, I have to do this play. <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs>